LSU football team is warming up to take on the Houston Baptist Huskies in their second conference game of the season. The Wildcats are 2-2 two two after winning their first conference game against Incarnate Word last weekend. Here's Daniel Zepeda with a recap. The Wildcats travel to South Texas to take on the Houston Baptist Huskies on Saturday night. The Wildcats look to win their third game in a row and their second game against conference opponents. On HBU's second play of the game, quarterback Jonathan Fleming connected to find the tight end Kenneth Bibbins for a 46-yard touchdown. The touchdown gave HBU an early 7-0 lead. The Wildcats would put together a drive that involved a heavy rush attack early on as quarterback Parker McKenzie takes off for a 17-yard run. The running back Herschel Sims would then rush for a 13-yard pickup. The drive ended with a 33-yard made field goal, putting ACU on the board 7-3. On their following drive, McKenzie would find receiver Cedric Gilbert for one of his two receiving touchdowns on the game. This nine-yard touchdown extends Gilbert's streak to five consecutive games with a score, as he now has six touchdowns, which ranks third in the Southland Conference. HBU would come back on this 77-yard pass to make the score 31-14 ACU in the second quarter. This play, McKenzie would find Jonathan Parker for a 10-yard pickup. McKenzie would tally 385 yards and four touchdowns with zero interceptions in his second straight zero turnover game. But the game would belong to Herschel Sims as he rushed for 128 yards, averaging 8.5 yards per carry and reached the end zone three times for the Wildcats. After coming off a slow start to the season along with an injury, it looks as if Sims is back to his old form. Wide receiver Cade Stone led all Wildcat receivers with seven receptions for a season-high 121 yards and a touchdown. He has 259 yards and is second on the team with four touchdowns. The offense would run away with the game as the team put up 659 yards of total offense compared to HBU's 300. The Wildcats would score eight touchdowns and were only forced to a field goal one time. is a good win but where we where we're sitting right now we're in a groove I feel like we're we're playing well for the most part uh, you know we're healthy and when you when you're healthy and you're in a groove and you can and you can see your team getting better and better every week that's that's all you can ask for as a coach I was really excited you know I was kind of frustrated early in the year you know I wasn't playing too good and you know I just had to just sit back and just relax you know um, my coach told me that if you're good you're good you just stay patient and just play your game and everything will fall into place. For James Network Sports, I'm Sharon Morosky.